going to look at the OE Open Order Master Grid in Agility. And we're going to see that this is a very powerful grid that will give you a lot of information about your customer orders from Macola. So we're going to look at this and start by looking at the fact that you're getting open customer orders or quotes or master orders or credit memos all in grid style here. So as you can see, we've got different types in the first column. And um, as we move across the screen, you'll see that we've got order numbers and we've got statuses and customer name. Basically, you're looking at order header information here. Now, you can drill into these orders and filter on these orders and get a lot of information about the order all from this one particular grid. So we're going to go up to the top into the order number column and we're going to filter and we're going to bring up order 575. And we're doing that because I want to show you some of the capabilities once we drill into that order. So we drill in and you can see that there are tabs kind of in the middle of the screen that show you order numbers, invoice numbers later, give you purchase order numbers, and that there are buttons over on the side as well. So in these tabs, you have basic information, you have bill to information, ship to information. Basic information shows you how it's shipping, the date the order was created, the shipping date, things like that. Um, if you're familiar with customer orders, you're seeing basically all the information you want. The buttons on the right-hand side give you access to comments on orders. And this little window that opens lets you look at both header and line comments simultaneously if you want to. So you can see that I've got a line comment relative to one of the items that are gloves, and then I've got order header comments about a phone call that I need to make to someone prior to making a shipment. So that's all available in that comments button there. So the screen, screen pops open and gives me a grid of that information. I also have audit trails. In Macola, you need to run reports to look at audit trails. We've incorporated both the header audit trail and the line audit trails, again, right on this handy dandy screen. So you can click on the line audit and it will open up the line audit for all the items that are on that order. And I can again filter by a given line if I want to, um, or I can, I can look at the statuses that, that occurred, the changes that were made. So I've got comments, I've got header, I've got line, audits, all of that's very helpful. Now, we're going to pull up order number 800, and I want to show you that in addition to just getting order information, this particular order contained an item that created a shop order. So if you'll notice, there's an item on here that's a bicycle that's being built, and there's a shop order button at the bottom that gets hot. So when you push a pop order, you get pop information. When you push a shop order, you get shop information. There's also buttons for inventory. But here we're actually opening up information relative to the shop order that was created from this customer order. And I've got operational information. I've got quantities completed. I've got a complete grid here that shows me the status of that order. So if a customer calls, wants to know how far along a product is in production, you can see that information. Um, and you'll notice, too, that we have labor and material information that's available. So we have a button up the top that shows me um, the materials that are used. And here I get basically a bill of materials for the product that's used, the various products that are used to create this product. And then I also have an operational button that will summarize information about production and where we are at each operation. And this is actually a little easier to use even than what appeared originally. So you have information here about this shop, this shop order that was produced um, for this customer order. So you have up-to-date information, real-time information that you can give to your customers as you're looking at their customer order from the grid. So that was order number 800. Now, on the other side of things, let's look at another order. This one's 888. This one is using OE to PO. So we pushed a purchase order from this customer order from, <coughs> from Macola, and now we have a purchase order that's attached. So again, I can give good customer service when someone calls and says, you know, where is my 
order, and if I'm having something even perhaps drop shipped, I can tell them um, what the status is. In this case, nothing's been received yet, um, so I can tell them that that order hasn't shipped. Uh, but I, So I have OE to PO tied into this, as well as the shop order that we saw just a minute ago. Now, let's take some action on an order. Let's look not at an open order, but at a quote. So you'll notice that we have a couple of quotes in the system, and I'm going to take quote six, and I'm going to look at it, and now the scenario that we're talking about is the customer has given me an actual purchase order for this item, and now I need to actually convert this quote to a customer order, and I can do that right from here. So I have a couple items on the order that were quoted to the customer, and I have a new button called Generate Quote. So we're going to click on that button, and it asks me some questions about whether I want to update costs and prices, and these are choices that you can make. And I'll tell it to do that, and it asks if I want to bring over comments and line, line information or not. And then I can click OK, and when I click OK, you can see that we get a new order number 903 that gets created. So now the quote is going to be gone from the system, and we're going to have order number 903. So I'll remove the quote filter. When I type 903, notice it doesn't appear initially because I need to refresh my grid. But the minute I refresh, order number 903 is there, and I'll open up 903, and there's the order that was created from the quote. So just like that, from the open order master grid, I can take a quote and, and create an actual open order and have the allocations created and everything. Now, let's talk about another capability that you have from this very powerful grid. If you're shipping with us and using our Pick Pack product, uh, shipping UPS, FedEx, Postal Service, let's pick order number 856 and go take a look at it. This is going to give us information now about the actual shipment that was made in WISIS. So we're going to be able to drill into sh the shipment button in the upper right-hand corner there. And we're actually going to be able to see the carton that this shipped in and the UPS tracking number that was assigned. So now when a customer calls, I can not only tell them something has shipped, but the carton that it was in and the actual shipment number that ties back to UPS so that they could track that shipment or I could help them track it. And we can get very specific information about where that order is in terms of being delivered to the customer's warehouse. So we also have the ability here with the button to do a pro forma invoice. So if I have not yet sent an actual invoice, but they need a pro forma invoice, perhaps for an international shipment, you'll notice that this can be produced. And I've got information relative to the shipment on here, to serial numbers and lot numbers that were included. So this is a crystal um, embedded form that's in the system and prints automatically when I tell it I want a pro forma invoice. And it can just use the order number for the invoice number. So you'll see that we can convert quotes. We can get shipping information. Um, but let me show you one more thing. I'm going to show you how a grid interacts with that floating screen that opens when we open a particular order with a hyperlink. So we have some Bikeorama orders. Perhaps I'm talking to the people at Bikeorama right now. So I've pulled up their orders, and when I click on one of the orders, again, up pops this screen that we've been looking at, which has all the information on it. And I'm looking at that one particular order, 795. But when I go back to the grid that's underneath, you'll notice that after I've looked at one order, I can simply click on the grid underneath on the next order, and the open window here changes. So rather than having to close that window and reopen it, I can simply move from order to order, and now that information is being displayed for me. So it's much more efficient than closing windows, reopening windows, looking for things, and reopening things. I can do it all right from here. So if I have a floating window on top of a grid, the information that I'm clicking on underneath it just changes the display that I'm looking at on the floating window. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this grid. It's a very powerful grid. It gives a great deal of information to customer service. And I'd like to thank you for watching this today. There will be more videos coming in the OE order area for WISIS and Agility. And I hope you'll stay tuned and watch some more of those. Have a great day. Thank you.